This project started when my son came home from nursery school waving a bright yellow flyer and on it said there was going to be a meeting that evening on parent-child relationships led by a young psychologist. It was mind-blowing. It was Dr. Chaim Gannat and he talked about methods that really made a difference in the parent-child relationship. And I went home, tried it, and it worked. Amazing. We have to get our kids through the day. And there's so many things we have to get them to do. And there's so many things we have to get them not to do. And kids don't like being ordered around and controlled. They resist with all their might. So it really puts us parents in a pickle. We tend to think that the quickest way to get from point A to point B is a straight line. So if we have a stinky kid, we say, you need a bath, get in the tub. The problem is kids don't respond well to that kind of language. So for our grubby little toddler, we can say, you have a choice. Would you like to have your bath with plain water? Or would you prefer bubbles? Or do you want to take your bath with your dinosaurs or your plastic fish. The old ways don't work. The, the warnings, the threats, the sarcasm, the lectures, uh, they don't work. And when they found the methods that do work, they're thrilled. Even stopping to give a choice can seem like a time-consuming activity. And these days, often parents don't have a lot of extra time. But ultimately, this approach, you'll find it saves you time because you meet with cooperation rather than resistance. This is a method which is deeply respectful of the child and deeply respectful of the parent. And it really says to both of you, uh, you can mess up and you get another chance. You always have another chance to do better, to make better. Well, as I said before, it works. <laughs>